advantage of this opportunity that I have now with Miss Clement Greenlee and Mr. Langston here to reach out and touch anybody that is willing to listen because this is not just about us. This is about the youth. This is about our community. This is about things that are going on in the world today. People have just got killed a few days ago. You know, 50 people. You know what I mean? 40, 49, you know, victims, one, you know, killer. But it's time. Times have changed. Things are hard. Our youth is our future. If we can't save them, we can't save nobody. I am the type of person, I will give you the shirt off of my back. I have no problem with that. I cannot like you and will be still willing to do it. But a lot of men nowadays do not understand. It's like being one dimensional. In order for you to change, you have to want to change. It has to be, it's not, it's not necessarily just you wanting to, to do something different, but it's wanting you to be different. You know, I had to sit down and I had to tell myself, you know, why I used to sit in a cell and just, what is it that I really want out of life? You know, I felt like I didn't have feelings. I felt a lot of things and I actually, for me to feel like I didn't have feelings, they let me know that I had emotions right then mm. and there. So, in order for me to take all of these emotions and things that are built up inside of me about what is going on with not only me, but my community, I'm turning it around and trying to go at it another way without weapons without drugs without you know i work nine to five every day every day and you know what it's hard but at the same time in order for you to succeed you have to be dedicated and you're supposed to have the will to get to the next level so i thank god for giving me the knowledge wisdom and understanding that i have in my age to want this so with me being able to want this i want others to want this very good now mr langston mm -hmm. Oh, uh, well, yeah, um, it's really what we're trying to go with this is we're trying to get the youth together to fight against this right now. Because when you're dealing with these guys, they're not trying to really listen to, you know, somebody 40, 50 years old, old enough to be their mamas or granddaddies. We got to give them something that they can relate to now, what's present, what's going on now. And it ain't no other better way because you never know. A lot of you young guys, you know, you may have a friend. If you would just talk to them or be like, nah, that ain't no, that, nah, that ain't right. That ain't right. Don't do that over some nothing, you know, $25, you know. I mean, it's bigger than that. Like Brother Moore was saying, you know, it's, 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 it's bigger than us. It's not even about us no more, you know. It's about our future. You know what I mean? So um, basically that's all we trying to do. We out here. If you if you want to be a part of it, if you if you sick of it and you tired of turning on that news and seeing somebody that you probably just seen yesterday or the day before yeah. and now he gone, you ain't going to see him no more, no matter what your relationship was. You know what I mean? Uh, Brother Moore, he, he done seven years. I know he know a lot of guys that died while he was inside there that he actually knew mm -hmm. and i can't even count on my fingers how many guys that i know that died and i know you know in a couple situations that if i was still out there i probably would have been with him yeah. mm. you know what i mean or i probably would have done something stupid when i heard about it happening mm -hmm. you know so you know it's and, and like like you like you also said you got to really change the way you think about things. And so, Ms. Greenlee, you're working hard with these young men to uh, not only try to direct them, but to have influence outside of the group. I think that you've always indicated that if we want to deal with the problem, we have to deal with the people that are causing yes, the problem. Sir. And to make yes, some sir. statements in reference. Yes, I get, sir. got about two minutes. I, uh, you know, I'm the founder of Nashville Peacemakers, but let me give a shout out to the CEO of the Yale.